Hello everybody, today we are taking a sneak peek at the next version of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. They are moving up to version 2.0 and this is a well worthy update. They have changed pretty much everything there is with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, so hopefully I'm able to cover everything in this video. And the first major change unfortunately is altering the licensing. See, before they used to have a 2495 lifetime license, one PC. They are now moving on to a subscription licensing model, 2495 a year for three PCs. Uh, not really a big fan of this at all, but this is kind of the trend in anti-malware, antivirus software. No, Malwarebytes was next, but... They do claim that they will be honoring any and all lifetime licenses before this release. So if you're on the fence about getting Malwarebytes Pro, definitely buy it now and you will get this next version for free. And it appears that Malwarebytes uh, and Malware Pro, now called Premium, is already on Newegg? Well, I guess this is going to be the box. Uh, I, this seems like something Malwarebytes would do. Looks like what they would release. Uh, three PCs for one year, and wouldn't recommend buying it. I'm not sure what you would get. You certainly would not get the actual Malwarebytes Anti-Malware 2.0 Premium. But we'll just wait for that. And of course, the second biggest change to Malwarebytes is the program itself. Let's take a look at it. And as you can see, it looks way different. Uh, the old Windows interface, gray everything, simple buttons is gone, and we now have this nice user-friendly interface. Uh, yeah, so we got kind of the flat logo going on with Malwarebytes, is pretty much the trend among all companies nowadays. We got a nice green bar at the top to tell you how fully protected your system is. A uh, nice simple dashboard gives you all the relevant information you need. License is good. Everything is updated. No scans. Nothing like that. So let's start looking at the program itself. We got a scanner. Uh, works exactly the same as the old one, just some different names. We have threat scan and hyper scan instead of the old quick and flash scans. But they both work the same. Uh, if we go to settings, we have a lot of settings to go through. Right here is just general. And if you ever mess up any settings, there's a nice restore default option. Very good. It's in all of the settings. We have some malware exclusions. We can add a file or a folder, which we were already able to do. But this is a new feature, which I love. Web exclusions. See, before in Malwarebytes Pro, you were not able to manually add IP addresses or domain names to the web blocker exclusions list. And if any of you watch web streams of the dubious legality, you will run into a lot of problems trying to watch anything. I just want to watch some baseball, and I can't do that with Malwarebytes Pro running. But now, we should be able to just add IP addresses and domain names and we don't have to disable the entire program. And I am aware that you are able to exclude IP addresses in the little pop-up bubble, but there's no way to remove them. It's just not intuitive, it doesn't work. But this appears to be very, very nice for anybody that wants to exclude IP addresses. Detection settings, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Updates simple enough. History. Now this is very interesting. Uh, of course it tries to do the statistical data BS. Uncheck that. But you're actually also able to export your logs into BB code. This is really cool. I like this a lot. So check this out. We'll try to go ahead and run an update. Actually let's try running a hyperscan first. Alright so our scan is complete. We have a BBC file. Go ahead and open that with Notepad. And look at that. It's in BB code. Look how nice that is. I don't know of any other anti malware program that will export logs into BB code. 
So very easy for posting on forums and whatnot. We have some access policies in Malwarebytes, and these are just for the actual functions of Malwarebytes, like licensing and quarantine and updates, things like that. You can password protect. Got a little bit of advanced settings here. We have a self-protection module. I believe this is new. Let's see. We have automatic startup, things like that. Automated scheduling is still the same as the previous uh, scheduler, so you can still have your updates run every five minutes if you want to. And the about page, pretty much the same. So let's go back and take a look at that scanner. Because this is another really great feature that they've added. So if you try to run a any scan, really, let's try threat scan first. You will see that it tries to run an update. So this is very convenient for anybody who hasn't run Malwarebytes in a long time. It will automatically update the databases for you. So you don't have to worry about scanning with an old version. And this is, of course, a pre-alpha build, so... Anything like scan times, or memory usage, or detection rate is completely irrelevant to me. This is all pre-release. If something messes up, you know, this is not the full release, so I am not worried about that at all. And this is a bit annoying having these billboards at the bottom of Malwarebytes. You know, I wish they didn't do that, but, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so our quick scan has completed, and this is the result that you'll get. Zero infections. You can open up the log. There it is in nice BB code. But uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like when it detects some files. We'll do a custom scan. We'll scan the desktop. Scan this folder. And you can choose to scan for rootkits and choose what you actually want to do with the detections so treat potentially unwanted programs and modifications as actual malware so it will remove them for you very nicely so we're gonna do a scan of the folder well it's scanning memory first it appears and yeah I guess the banner is kinda cool if it's gonna do all these dodgeball references but it's just not necessary and it really clutters everything up. It makes me wish they didn't change the interface at all. But then again, they couldn't have added a lot of these features unless if they did, so... It's a two-edged sword, really. And, as you can see, we have detected many, many threats. And as many people pointed out, there's actually a way you can just right-click and select all of these to check and uncheck, at least in the old version. Uh, it doesn't appear to be any way to just select all of these and uncheck them all. But it wants to send everything to the quarantine, so we'll just go ahead and do that. You can either quarantine all or just apply the action that is default here. We'll just do that. And as you can see, it's no longer using... Or Malwarebytes is no longer using the little balloon pop-ups that are just standard with Windows. They come with their own alerts here. Uh, not sure if I like these either, but then again, the balloons were the only way you could exclude IP addresses in the web blocker, so maybe this is better. And of course, Malwarebytes wants you to reboot. We'll not do that for now. And as you can see, we have a little My Account button at the top. And they appear to be doing the same licensing scheme as Avast. And what Avast and uh, Malwarebytes appear to be doing is having a license that is transferable, but you can only install it on one PC at a time. So what you would do is you would deactivate your install of Malwarebytes here if you wanted to reinstall Windows or give it to somebody else. And then you could activate another installation of Malwarebytes somewhere else. And this is a pretty big change from the old version because... You could just use the same key on as many installs of Malwarebytes as you wanted, as long as nobody really knew about it. So, Malwarebytes is probably going to make quite a bit of money off of this, and they are, of course, going to be keeping the free version free, so 
no change there, no requirement to purchase Malwarebytes Premium if you just want to scan every once in a while. But I really wish they didn't go with this type of licensing. You know, there's nothing we can do about it, of course, but I don't really like it. So overall, I think I really do like this update to Malwarebytes. Uh, the interface is nice. The added features are great. I love it. Uh, memory management's probably going to get better. Scan times are going to get better. Um, you know, I don't like the licensing. If you are wanting to pick up Malwarebytes Pro, definitely do it now. Or as soon as possible, because once this update comes out, you're not going to be able to get a lifetime license anymore. Uh, Malwarebytes say that they're going to sell a few thousand, but those are going to be gone pretty quickly, so... Really, I would just pick up the license now, so you don't have to worry about this. So, pretty excited to see this be a very common download in the free version for the future videos. So, thank you all very much for watching.